New schools, stadiums, auditoriums, all of it on the line in a potentially historic vote tomorrow in Fort Worth. It is the most money Fort Worth schools has ever asked for. And as Jason Allen reports now, not everybody agrees it's the right time to ask for it. With facilities built before 1960, many not remodeled in decades, the Fort Worth School District is asking voters to approve $1.5 billion in bonds for upgrades, the biggest request here ever. This is a delayed uh, a project that's been delayed for a long time. We should have done this decades ago. Leading a committee supporting the bonds, Reverend Charles Johnson says it's an obligation to provide the space for students. It includes more than a billion for middle schools and new elementary schools, almost 100 million for auditoriums, another 100 million for three new stadiums, and 76 million for gyms and new turf on athletic fields. This is not a referendum on our students' performance uh, academically. This is what we should do for our children. This is an investment in our community. Of course, it's an economic investment. Investment. Next to campaign signs supporting the money, though, there are also signs urging a no vote. We have record inflation. Uh, we have supply chain interruptions, major economic uh, turmoil around the world. Joe Palmer said he was surprised the district would ask for so much right now. He and other voters question current spending, with the district involved in lawsuits this year with the governor and parents. At a board meeting last week, there were tense moments when the board hesitated to approve financial advisors before all that money potentially comes in. If we come back with a second recommendation, and it is who I think it is, I'm going to blow this thing up. I'm going to post everything that I've been collecting, watching, trying to trust this board that it wasn't going to go that route. We simply don't believe in the proposed solution uh, to, to solve these problems. We don't think that throwing money at it is a, is a solution that's tenable. Voters approved the last bond request here from the school district four years ago for $750 million. This one would likely be decided by a very small percentage of voters. Just 3% of voters in the county turned out during early voting. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. And